Volkus asks, shameless plug warning. I don't know what the shameless plug is, uh -oh. but uh, with the, oh, well, oh, I see what he means. The Enfield Tesla supercharger coming online and the first of Petrocan's EV chargers opening next week. Uh, actually, Smitty's been traveling around Nova Scotia installing some of these things. Cool. Um, what do you think of electric vehicles? Uh, I think, I'm just going to say it. Is he a hot take? I, I don't know how hot it's probably like a warm take. Lukewarm? Um I think electric vehicles are for women. That is a hot take. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking that's, say it. I'm I don't give a fuck. I I'm just gonna say it. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. This it's, is for this is for the camera, but I'm about to take a T bow knee. I don't fucking care. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say it. I think they're I think I think that uh <laughs> I just goes I don't give a fuck. I'm I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna say it. I think they're bitch made. I don't I, I think I think they're I don't I don't get it. Um I like and I'm not saying that you know women can't drive uh, uh no non electric when I say that I'm saying that in a joking manner. I just think electric cars are Is it because they don't make the vroom vroom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 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 I'm just that's how I feel. I think <laughs> I, I I I I think that the the tech in it is amazing. Um I I just don't ever see myself owning an electric car. You're not actually going to have much of a choice. I know, eventually it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, but you know what? <laughs> I'll buy up the fucking V12s and the V8s and I'll have them sitting in the goddamn garage and they'll be classics. We'll look back, I'll look back when I'm 50, 60 years old and I'm going to say, hey, son, this used to be my dad's, or this used to be my car. Back in my day, I could leave the driveway before filling it up. Exactly, right? And my <laughs> son would be sitting there fucking driving like an I-17 BMW <laughs> that fucking floats and flies and I'm going to say, listen, turn that on and it makes a lot of noise and it's got that rumble and he's going, oh, it's it's loud, Dad. I don't like it. Well, you know <laughs> what, son? That's 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 a man's car. You know what? I don't give a fuck what anybody says. When I say when I say it's for women, mm -hmm. I mean that as in it's pussy like. Now, listen and listen to this argument. Okay. If you were to ask your old man, just for the record, though, pussies are technically stronger than dicks. They are. They are. But you know what I'm saying for the for the sake for the of sake, jokes. I know, I know what you're saying for the sake of jokes. I'm just trying to win brownie points. If with women you, here. I don't give a fuck. I, <laughs> it's not even it's not even a, a, a hit at women. It's more I, no, of a, I, I it's get more you. of a figurative get, speech. It's bitch pussy. made. It's bitch made. There you go. You ask any fucking <laughs> old school head, and I mean even people our age sure. that love like a fucking Chevelle, that love a fucking a manly. Fucking car, and mm. I don't even give me the, oh well. Gir you saying girls don't like? Shit. I want a car that can't go around a corner. Exactly. When I say <laughs> bitch made pussy yes. for women, yes, it means it smells of estrogen to me, and there's okay. not enough testosterone, and there's not enough fucking oomph, right? You go if if for my grandfather, for example, if he goes when I was your age, I used to drive a fucking. Uh, Horse-drawn carriage. A 65 Chevelle or some <laughs> shit, right? Right. And the fucking thing, you couldn't take corners. When you turned it on, it was a fucking... the. It was a man's car. They, they straight up will tell you, it's a fucking man's car. But nobody has a goddamn problem saying it for the old school. And what I'm saying now... And, and a lot of the, even the, the like new the old school cars, the old school cars, the old school cars, nobody's got a problem when they say, you know, it's a fucking man's car, right? Nobody gets up in arms and says, oh, well, what about the women or, you know, oh, you know, it doesn't mean I'm not saying I can't enjoy them or whatever, but I'm saying what it may, what electric cars make me feel like, I feel like they are, uh, the next thing and it, and it smells of estrogen. It doesn't smell it doesn't smell of of man muscle. Listen, the bears can smell the car's menstruation. Jeff? Exactly. That's what. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Even today's hypercars, right? None of them. None of them are. Barely any of them are manual. You know, they fucking the the engines are getting smaller. They're not making as much noise. A lot of them. A, a fuck ton of them. Sure. You even got the car heads that go. Oh, your car's an automatic. 
Motherfucker, they don't even make it goddamn manual to even try and do it. And they're like, yeah, it's, it's bitch made. It's fucking pussies. Get a, be a man. Get a fucking manual. Drive that motherfucker, right? Drive that motherfucker. Mm, these are all people that can't even fucking drive the car they Ex own. Exactly. But, I'm, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you're talking about cars, let's be real. Cars are inherently a manly fucking thing. It's like, and I'm not saying women, once again, I don't know how many times I'm saying, I'm not saying it. It's, it's just a thing that dudes fucking jerk off over and they whip their dicks around and some women whip out their fucking titties and vagina. I've seen plenty of them at car meets, but I'm saying in general and the new generation electric cars, mm -hmm. they don't do it for me. Mm -hmm. They don't make noise. Mm -hmm. They fucking drive themselves mm -hmm. and it just gets, it's getting to the point where I'm going to get into a car. I'm going to punch in a destination or I'm going to tell, I'm going to speak to the car to drive me somewhere. It's going to take me there. I'm old school, motherfucker. I like to drive a car and I like it to make fucking noise and I want to feel like I'm driving it. And honest to God, the, the Teslas, the new ones, the roaster looks amazing. It's sleek. It's sexy. It's futuristic, but it's electric. I'll make no fucking noise. So it's I just, guess, I, I, so I just I get, don't like that. So I guess the question I have for you is where's the line drawn before the car is too technologically advanced to no longer be what you consider to be a man's car? Because somebody in your I feel like we're in, already there. Somebody like already somebody there. in your shoes that owns your car upstairs, if you went back and said compared it to hypothetically, you know, a Chevelle yes, or something yes, like yes, a yes. 67, 68 Not as Chevelle, manly. Okay. Yeah. Um is is that the, where where is the line? Is it when we started, you know, doing like uh, electronic fuel injection? Uh, or when we started having ECUs to computer tune cars, like where, where was the line when cars stopped being, is it just because it has an engine and makes noise Yeah. or like I, what, where's, what is the, the line when the cars are no longer cars? Is it that you need to have a, a mid nineties or earlier Subaru so that you can literally take it apart with like two wrenches? No, and WD I'm not talking about that for me personally, it is, it is, I want to be able to get on, get in a vehicle turn it on and feel like and feel like I am the king of the road mm -hmm. to feel like I to feel like I can roar mm -hmm. you know to feel like it's I bravado. can yeah to to just to have that feeling mm -hmm. of of manliness of of uh uh of aggression of the gravitas of it I've I've driven electric cars I've driven a Tesla mm -hmm. Uh, I've been in them. Um, I've 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 been been through it all. I've been to the car meets. I've been in hypercars. I've been in hybrids. I've sat in an i8. Mm -hmm. I've been there, done that, and they're cool in their own right. But it's a completely different feeling. Until you've been in one I or agree. driven one, it is night and day. Of course it is. Uh, it's so much so that it doesn't feel like you're driving a car anymore. Mm -hmm. It feels like you are in a transportation. Like you are just on a bus, on a train in New York that is very fast, that takes you from point A to point B. And it looks sexy. It's futuristic. It's more luxurious. It's more of like, it's more posh and sleek and snarky and, and, um, and, and um, pretentious. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel dirty. It doesn't feel manly. Feels like bitch made. And I'm not saying they're bitch made cars. For fuck's sakes, you get a Tesla and it goes faster than a fucking Aventador because it's electric. The fucking torque is basically. Well, it's, 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 it's instant. instantaneous. It's an instant. There's no. It's not a and torque curve. And then you've got the fuckers going, I'm better. Line. My car's faster. No, well, it's wonder, not. No, it's actually not. It's, it's, it, the thing is, it's, it's, it's a cheat. It's, it's not what. It's not, I get it, but for me personally, it isn't manly enough. That's why I say it's for, it's, it's, it feels like a woman's car. Mm. And, and I'm saying that in the, in a joking manner, but it just doesn't feel it for me. That's my point of view. That's I, it. I, I get, I get it. I think you're just, I think at the end of the day, I don't think we need to call it womanly or manly or anything like that so much as it's just, it's a different classification of vehicle I'm gonna all say the, it. altogether. It's manly. And, um, I, and I love that feeling. It's a different feeling entirely when you have a gas-powered engine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It is the it is the experience of the noise, 
depending on the engine you have, it's a different noise. It's a different feeling, whether you're turboed or supered or whatever, it's all very different. You know, it's, there's, uh, there, it's a, a much more, uh, elaborate and involved experience. You feel more connected to the vehicle, which is why people like to drive a, a stock, you know, manual versus, yeah. uh, having, uh, even paddle, paddle shifters. shifters. Uh, at the end of the day, people, the, the, you know, there's an car experience. That, will, they want to feel like yeah, they're part of the yeah, car, yeah. Uh, and and yeah, the there, the, it's it's just yeah, you're gonna be stepping away from that, and and even if even if we stayed gas, that's that's going to for the sake of efficiency and power over time, the stuff that you would associate, for example, with. Uh, some of these cars would naturally get reduced over time of course, anyway. Of course. It's just the, the, they have the nature of it. Yeah. Um, I, 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 it's not like I disagree with you. I prefer, if I was going to own a higher-end sports car, not just a car, yeah. but a sports car, then I would rather have something that was... Makes noise. Uh, a, a standard <laughs> you know, kind of gasoline fare, whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. Uh, because you get to have that kind of more visceral... Uh, experience. I'm not saying it isn't visceral when your organs get liquefied when you put your foot down in an electric vehicle and the torque is literally already at its maximum from zero. Yeah. And your stomach meets your asshole. Yes. Uh, and, which is fun. Which is fun. Fuck, man, what a rush. You know. You, know, you get you you still get the speed aspect of it. Hell yeah. You still get the handling speed you know, aspect For only of it. So long. <laughs> but but you know the um. But you know all the other all the other senses that get used with a uh, a, a gas powered vehicle is obviously wildly different. It's a different. It's a very different experience entirely. So I agree. I, I, I agree with that. I have no problem with electric cars. I think electric cars are are. Um, uh, I think what I haven't seen because I haven't read into it enough is, and what I would like to to see whether it exists or not, I don't know, uh, is some studies to be done to compare that. Let's say eighty percent of the people on the road. We're driving electric cars, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't just generate electricity out of thin fucking air. And a lot of places are still using uh, fossil fuels to uh, generate said electric uh, energy that people are plugging their cars into yep. back at home, et cetera, et cetera. What I'd like to see is is the, um, the environmental cost for where we are now versus if tomorrow we swapped and everyone was on electric mm. the electric generation mass being mass produced for people plugging their cars in at home what the environmental cost of that is versus where we are now because obviously what people want to work towards is environmentally friendly vehicles because yeah of course like we woke up this morning it was seven thousand degrees of time yeah. nice if it doesn't get any hotter than that that'd be uncomfortable yep so we want to work towards that ideally the best we can, or at least mitigate it. So that's what we want. But I, I, I don't. I'm sure there is some rudimentary set, but we haven't gotten to a point where enough electric vehicles are on the road. We can take guesses. We can run math and say, well, if everyone was driving a current generation electric vehicle, and we know that it gets this many miles before you have to recharge, and we know that you know the standard, uh, you know, rate of of generation in in these states, for example, if you just did America, different states might have different power generation methods, and we could uh, assume, you know, how much carbon we're pumping into the atmosphere on that versus just everyone driving a gas powered car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, self driving is is whatever. It's probably going to be safer than people because people are terrible at driving. Um, you know. But then that's another thing where you go, well, now I'm not even driving at all. You know, if I'm going to own a car, I would like something. But that's when you own, if you're if you're lucky enough, you own a car. Of course. That you can track. Yeah. Or take somewhere into the I'm into not the arguing hills, any of these points. I'm just whatever. going by what I think about electric cars. Yes. I think they're a necessity. I yeah. think they're going to, I mean, it's. A, I think it's going to be a norm. I think my boy will drive <laughs> an electric car. I think... Um, I think what Tesla is doing is great, along with other uh, car companies that are coming out with hybrids or electric cars. Or mm. I think it's great, just for me personally. You asked my opinion on what I thought about them, yeah. And I think they're bitch made. I'm yeah. just I that's I think they're amazing for the environment. I think they're a, a, a huge step in the right direction. But I just feel like they're bitch made. Maybe they'll create something that will. Uh, emulate the feeling. Well, they're already emulating like sounds yeah. and stuff like that. Exactly, they're, they're generating. But that as stuff. of right now, bro, coming from somebody that drives a V8. Twin yeah. turbo, yeah, <laughs> AMG. 
and I and I even step into a hypercar that's electric. Yeah, yeah. I get I get the feels of how awesome a hypercar is and how fast yeah. it can be off the get go. But at the end of the day, bro, there is nothing like driving something that fucking yeah, growls growls yes. and and makes you feel like that's why that's why you know you're on the edge of your life. Dudes like, are putting you know, pipes on Civics. Exactly. You know, well, people exactly, want, exactly. People want to have the sound. That's just my it. And I'm not even a car enthusiast. Mm. You ask like car enthusiasts, mm. they have no problem calling somebody a bitch, even for having paddle shifters, mm. let alone uh an electric car. Mm. I mean, these people, you know, they they are they are beyond diehard. I'm not a diehard car guy. I enjoy them. I've got appreciation for them. I'm sure the but, people that had horse drawn carriage were real upset about the Model Ts and the Model As, <laughs> and they came around. You're a bitch. Uh, you don't have to feed your car. I mean, that's a fucker. That's a pretty. That's a pretty extreme. Uh, well, it's not. It's a new. It's a totally new technology. It's a totally different step in the right direction. They're complaining. Their their complaints are: you're a bitch. You drive it because you don't have to use a stick shift, which means you don't probably even know how to rev match and double clutch and fucking go take like it that. out on the yeah, road. Some people are like get that. it out on the track and shit. And you're only being eating me because you don't have to worry about that and you've got instantaneous fucking torque and all of your big fucking batteries out back powering you where i've got to go home but it is and true i've got to and i've got to blow the fucking cylinders and i've got to <laughs> bore it out and open the engine up and cram enough air in here i gotta go get a fucking 2j out of a fucking 97 98 supra put a fucking turbo the size of my dog and the size of the car get 780 brake horsepower go out put 15 foot tires on it and do a seven second quarter mile bitch or you just went out and bought a soccer mom model three that can do the same thing for thirty five thousand dollars well fuck you it's true right it is no. there's truth to it tough shit yeah you know what else goes faster than cars planes <laughs> suck it the fuck up yeah. they're gonna have to eventually get on it themselves well actually they won't because it won't be their generation but eventually in the future yeah Electric cars are going to re get replaced with something that's probably even more automated yep. or even easier, yep. and even faster. Yep. People are going to go, well, back in my day, we had Teslas and the fucking doors did panels didn't even line up because they were being built by five people in fucking Massachusetts and shit was fucking wacky and weird and, and everyone, we liked it. We played fucking Skyrim on the screen mm. and asteroids and we could turn on our air conditioning from the bedroom, but that was it. It's all we had. You know, it's, it's, it's just the way that it's going to fucking go, bro. And, and I get it. Like, I love fucking, I fucking love cars. I'm a dad's son. I fucking love the shit. Dad grew me up on muscle and I would love to own muscle and, and, and one day and be able to learn how to work on my own car and do all that shit. I'm literally physically incapable of driving manual because I'll kill myself because <laughs> my legs will interfere with the wheel and I'll die. However, everything else about that, I'd love to have, have it in, in, you know, in theory. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's a different class entirely. Uh, if you if you asked me if I was going out and buying a car uh, and I had all the money that was whatever, Porsche has a hybrid that's just unfucking like stupid amount of horsepower uh, because it borrows on the back of the of the hybrid engine. It still has uh, a gas engine in it, but it's the hybrid and you get all the benefits of the torque from the, the electric plus the, the grunt and the power uh of the uh of the gas mm -hmm. and you just it's just it's a fucking wild crazy car that still looks and sounds like a porsche if and i was buying a porsche i'd be getting the, the gt2 rs if i could ever afford one and that'd be the fucking catalina wine mixer you know the new the 2019 um 911 uh turbo mm. and the 911 carrera have mm. my new favorite porsche body I haven't seen that Porsche. The Porsche 911, the new 2019, mm. is dude. You okay? It is fucking hot. It's very sexy. It's 135,000 Canadian. It's, it's actually steak. not that bad. Uh, it's bad for me. A little steep. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's 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 expensive, but I mean, compared to like a GT3 or something like that. Oh yeah, it is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my new favorite body. I wouldn't put it my favorite, but it's it's had an upgrade. It is the nine the nine eleven in my opinion for its class is the best in its class and has been pretty much since the nine eleven was invented. It's a daily driver yeah. that will roll people up and smoke. Except them. that Adam, it's a Porsche, and you can not fit in these. Uh, I've never tried. I can fit in a Viper. You don't fit in these. These are. <laughs> 
these. It's possible. I mean, nine elevens are are meant to be daily drivers. If Jerry Clarkson can fit in one. He's six four, so I should I'd be pretty close. He'd dry and, and I think damn, Clarkson bro. dailies his nine eleven. So I, there's a hope. There's a hope. Mm. There's a hope. I I just haven't sat in one. I I can get. I, all I know is that I have sat in other sports cars, and the Viper is a tiny cockpit, and oh, I yeah. could fit in the Viper. Oh yeah. So. It's possible. Actually, uh, what's his face? Uh, Spears here from from Halifax, who's a content creator. He bought the brand new Viper. Oh, really? Yeah. The, he, he got the, the ACR. Yes, I think I think he got. Uh, I don't know if it's the ACR model. Uh, let me see here. I think that's the only one they're making. I now. think I think then that must be it. It's a brand. It's the brand new 2019 one. I think. Um, so if that's the case, then yes. Uh, that car is unadulterated fire, by the way. Yeah, he wrecked his um, uh, his Corvette. He had like the new uh, fucking. Um, I hate Corvettes, bro. I, I fucking hate him too. I'm I be fucking honest. hate him, dude. When I saw that They're he got a Viper, when I saw that he got a Viper, I was like, That's an dude, upgrade, bro. that is a ma- it's a massive <laughs> the upgrade. upgrade. The upgrade is is steep. The, the the Corvette's so shittily fucking made. They tried. They dude, the size of the wheels they had to try to put on the back of it because they couldn't figure out how to get the power to the fucking goddamn road in that thing. It's a slippery plastic mess. Mm. It's garbage. Hot fucking garbage. Yeah, you got that there, blue one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, fucking that's yeah, fire. Yeah, that looks dope. Yeah, love the color too. It's it, I like they finally went back to a body similar to like the '99 ACR, where it actually kind of looks like a snake head now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is what it, the Viper used to be like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it just it's fuck. I mean, the ACR has a bunch of track records, bro. Oh yeah, oh Vipers and are Vipers are fucking dope, dude. The new Vipers are are putting out they're putting out numbers, putting out numbers. Uh, million. Thank you for the uh, five dollars. And uh, Dark Q, thank you for the two. Oh, old Corvettes are fine. Um, anything post seventies, get that trash out of here. I'm just not a big fan of even the the look of a Corvette. Uh, Older Corvettes, I don't mind. Yeah, like Stingrays and stuff like that. I always thought were great. It's yeah, Stingrays don't look bad. It's unfortunate that there's so many kit car Stingrays around now, but um, they're not bad. They're not my favorite, but I don't. I didn't ever mind them. I thought they were a, a pretty car, um, but. Uh, no, it's whatever. Me, right now, if I had a choice, if I was going out there, one thing I was disappointed with, talking talk about cars, since we're on the topic anyway, uh, Toyota released the new Supra, which is literally the Z4 BMW mm. with a different body. Mm. Like, people thought that it was just going to be the power plant, <laughs> like they just the engine, and then they got it, and then there's a BMW badge on literally... <laughs> Everything yeah. in that car, from the fucking from the infotainment center all the way through with BMW, the fucking everywhere, um, which I was a little sad about. I don't know why they didn't just use their own straight six. BMW has a really really good straight six. Straight six is my favorite engine. Mm. I think it is objectively the greatest engine ever made uh, in gas powered cars. And if I had any car and I was going to be tracking it, straight six all fucking day. There's no question about it. Mm. It's a smooth smooth running if engine. I was tracking a car, I'd, I'd be buying a Porsche. That'd be it. That'd be my show. GT4. So, uh, oh. That'd be the show. I'd be buying a Porsche I mean, if I could buy. If I could. If I could upgrade a car right now. If mm. I could. If I could own a car. I would either get a McLaren uh, 570S mm. um, and tune that to to fuck to make it basically a 720, uh, or I would get a Huracan. And I wouldn't buy a Huracan here because our roads are absolutely uh, not even close. Awful. Yeah. But um, yeah, those would be my toss right now. I actually just don't fucks with hypercars. I actually yeah. just don't like them. I know. I, no, uh, in I get general, it. yeah. Um, Similar reasons for why you don't you don't like electric, electric cars. Yeah. I actually don't consider most hypercars to really be cars. Yeah. If I was going to own one, it'd be a Pagani Zonda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the reality for me is I like to do you know more with less. I like the idea of like the the Viper until you know even now for how much you cut you you buy a Viper for. Dude, uh, like the Vipers are like uh, the new Viper. something thousand. Well, the new if, if you get all base, the bells and whistles, if you get all the bells and whistles on, or something on like this, that? you can get it for about 140 uh, Canadian. Yeah. For all, we're talking. You, you and deck, that's a car that sets you, track records yeah, yeah. at Laguna Seca. You deck this fucker out. Yeah. 140 G's. Yeah. You're off to the motherfucking races. Literally. You want to spend 120 grand? You're still off. Yeah. To the motherfucking races. It's the thing about. So, so for me, um. 99 Viper ACR is my favorite car of all time. Mm. It is a hot fucking car. That's a man's car, bro. I'm it's, just going to say it again. It's, it is. 
Well, that's, that's a, not just a man's that's, that's the man. shit that if you're not careful, well, you'll kill yourself. You'll kill yourself. You'll kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you'll kill yourself. You're that's dead. actually a car that I don't even think I'd drive. I would just own. You just stare at it. Because I'd kill myself if I tried to drive it. Yeah. After that, um, Lotus Evora, very nice car. Lotuses are nice. Lotus Evora, they is... always remind me of Dinkies. Uh, yeah, they are. Well, they're built. They're, they they're, like they weigh about four pounds. Uh, they uh, fucking go. That Evora has a Camry engine in it. <laughs> That's the same engine that they have in the Toyota Camry, just with turbos. Yeah, and it goes. and it puts out four hundred and ten yeah, because it weighs power. ten pounds. Yeah, and it just fucking go. And the thing about the Lotuses because they weigh nothing and they're balanced well. It's a mid-engine Camry. Like a, the engine is the mid engine of the car. It fucking tracks like a champion. Mm. Um, and then give me Toyota's classic Supra straight six in almost any car. Fuck it. Give me a, give me an S. I don't know if you could even fit it in. I'd be interested if it's possible. I don't know enough about cars to know, but if you could get, if you could get Toyota's 2JZ straight six in a Honda S2000, 2005 model or whatever the fuck. Um, that seems like a meme to me because now it's a go-kart with <laughs> a lot of balls a lot of balls <laughs> it's, it's Mario Kart with the golden mushroom all the time <laughs> all the time something, <laughs> something stupid here like that here we go here we go here we go <laughs>